I hope you are enjoying my videos. I'm back again with yet another interesting problem. This problem is on lead code and uh, the problem title is to sum. Given an array of integers nums and an integer target, target, return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target. You may assume that each element would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice you can return the answer in any order. So let's try and understand it with few examples. So for example, if nums is uh, this array 2, 7, 11, 15 and target is 9, then 0 and 1 indices are the ones uh, whose value if we add up, that will become 9. So that is the answer for uh, this problem. And if input is 3 to 4, target is 6, then we are looking at 2 plus 4 as 6. And the response would be indices of 2 and 4, which is 1 and 2. And uh, for this example, 3, 3, 0 and 1. So that's those are the examples. Now, how would we do it? Now, intuitively, a brute force solution is that uh, you will have two loops. Uh, one is the outer loop. In outer loop, you would go through each element one by one. And in the inner loop, you would sum that element with the rest of the elements one by one and see which one matches to the target, which pair. And whichever pair matches to the target, that becomes your answer. Now, clearly, uh, the issue with that approach is that the time complexity is... Uh, O n square and that's not very effective so we have to be a little creative in finding a solution which has linear time complexity and how would we do that so the intuition that I have to solve uh, it in linear time is that uh, we will have one loop where we will go through each element one by one so with this example 2 7 11 15 what we would do at when when we are at uh, element two we will uh, uh, check or, or maybe not checking you know we will add it to the hash map object and um, before adding it to the hash map object we would f check if the hash map contains uh, the remaining of uh, target minus that element so 9 minus 2, 7. Now hash map is, is yet to be created for, you know, is yet to have values for the first iteration. So that condition will be uh, will will be false. And there is no response on that condition. So hash map uh, will be, uh, we will add 2 into the hash map. So, and, but in the second iteration, when we are at 7, what we are looking at, we are looking at what is the remaining value that uh, if added to 7 will become 9 and that is 2 and after that we are going to check in the hash map whether 2 exists or not 2 exists because we added it in the first iteration so that becomes the response because now we have found a pair uh, which uh, would add up to the target so that's the intuition and in this case we are only having one loop so the time complexity is O n but uh, we are adding space complexity we are creating a hash map so if asked in an interview you you should first check you know whether space complexity is a concern or not if not then this is a good solution because time complexity is only o n so let's see how would we solve uh, that in o n with hash map so we're gonna create uh, one integer remaining and we need one loop we need an array to return the indices so since this is only an array with fixed size the space complexity specifically for this array is uh, a constant then we are creating the hash map uh, data structure Alrighty, now we are in our loop. So we're going to iterate through 
Tere. And we are going to calculate remaining is equal to target minus nums i. So for the example that we were discussing uh, where element uh, at index 0 is 2 and target is 9, this remaining would be 7. And now we are checking And once we have found the array, there is no point in iterating any further because there is only uh, one solution. So, and we only have to return, you know, the one solution only. So we can just break once we have found such a pair. If we don't find the remaining in hash map, we are going to add numsi with value index because that's the value that we have to find and add it to our result array. All right, I think we are good to go. Oops. Awesome. So I think it is uh, working fine now. You might see that, you know, output is one zero, whereas expected is zero one. Uh, the test case passed because, um, you know, the condition is that we can return the answer in any order. If we are very peculiar to return the output similar to expected, we will just have to change the ordering here. and we will match exactly although in this case it wasn't needed let's try and submit it so submitting also works fine and uh, there you are so uh, like i said you know the time complexity in this case we only have one loop o n and uh, we are creating a hash map so that hash map uh, also in average or worst cases is not going to go beyond n. So space complexity is on. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions for me.